Hey, what's up, you silly fuck? So I hate to do this, and I'm only doing it because, you know, some of you asked about buying shirts and merch and shit. So I'm not trying to be, you know, a money-grubbing whore. No offense to any whores out there. But, uh, you know, I'm only doing this because other people asked about it. Okay? So uh, basically, I'll show you what's going on over here. We got that. I got some stickers and shit. Selling these five for six bucks. Okay? I'll put the link to buy the stickers in a caption at a video here. And I'll take it down once I get too many orders and I need, the, you know, a break or something. So don't uh, don't snitch my, my PayPal address out, uh, you know, if it's not in the caption down there. Don't give it to your friends or nothing because I need a break. This shit really, it stresses me out. And then I got to go to the post office and you got to wait in line. And then, uh, you know, after I come out of there being 45 minutes mailing all this shit, I want to die, you know. But I would like to give a shout out to... Uh, to uh, the ladies over there at the post office, shout out to Sharon at West Oakland Postal Center, just retired after a lovely 30 years of service. Also, shout out to Nicole at the corner desk, wonderful woman. A anyway, again, these are a, a basically a buck each plus a buck shipping, okay? Depending on how many you order. Now, put the caption, you just order on PayPal, send me six bucks for five, and, uh, you know, if you want more, just do it in multiples of six bucks, basically, and, uh, and and leave a comment on, you know, in the comment section on the PayPal, leave your address, okay, leave your address and which ones you want, I got all kinds of shit here, I got the Stop Humanity ones, I got the Crime Pays stickers, I got the uh, Unauthorized Forestry, and I got the, the uh, Indian with the biggest load of bullshit he ever heard, okay, and also if you could send it friends and family, I'd appreciate it, because they tend to take a little bit off the top, I'm not going to screw you, if you don't trust me, fuck off, don't order from it, but I'm not going to, you know, they tend to take some off the top, and it, it hurts, all right? You want to really want to give those assholes money anyway? Give it to me. I can use it, okay? I can use it to, you know, do more of these botany trips to educate you you bastards. On that note, this guy right here, uh, I'm actually got shirts made. You can buy these right now. I did it on, uh, on bonfire.com. Somebody from that company hit me up, and they said, why don't, you do, why don't you work with us? And I said, you know what? That's a pretty good idea, because... Uh, Going to the post office does make me want to die. I got intense ADD. I can't sit still, and I don't like waiting in line for, you know, 45 minutes to ship a giant duffel bag full of shit. You know, it just absolutely drives me nuts. Okay, so I'll put this uh, in the caption, too, for this video. I think it's I think it's just www.bonfire.com slash crime pays, but botany doesn't. That's the name of the store. Okay, so anyway, that, that bullshit out of the way. All right, the, all the merch bullshit out of the way. Want to want to show you how to do something real quick. You know, obviously the world can be kind of bleak. It's just dedicated to working uh, mostly unfulfilling jobs, and then uh, you know just buying shit, often shit you don't need, is to fill the void within yourself. And it doesn't always work sometimes. So that's why uh, you know learning about plants and rocks and shit like that uh, can be uh, very uh, fulfilling. It fills it, you know it fills the hole within yourself. Okay, and so in order to do that, I'm going to recommend some books for you, and uh, and I'll also show you if you're low on funds how to uh, acquire them. Now you just be acquiring a PDF version, and you'll also not be giving any any money to the wonderful bastards that put these books together. But you know, if you're broke, you're broke. You got to do it this way. So anyway, the thing you got to do some of the books you start off with you the flowering plant families by Zomla for she's out of uh, she, I think she's a professor out of Georgia. She's a uh, I emailed with her once. She's real nice. You know, this is a this is a great fucking book. I mean, this you want to go down a wormhole. You know, if you if you finish botany in a day, which is this one, which I don't use too much anymore. But if you're just starting out, you don't know what the fuck you're looking at. You don't know how to identify plants, i.e., by their flowers. It's the main way you identify plants. I'll tell you right now, you're not looking at fucking leaves. Most of the time, you're looking at flowers, flower morphology, sexy parts, reproductive structures, etc. Okay, so you start with botany in a day. All right. But this guy's coming from an herbalist background. He's all over the place. No focus on ecology, uh, etc. But it's you know pretty interesting. You get some you get some good shit. Everything's uh, everything's separated by family in there. So uh, you start with botany in the day. You're done with that. You want to move on. Go to flower and plant families by Zomla for all right. Another book you're gonna need uh, is uh, where the fuck is it? A plant systematics by Simpson. This guy's a fucking wizard. Okay, he's just releasing a third. A third uh, uh, version, I think this is the second edition, yeah, second edition, then he's doing a third version, you can get these online for cheap, you know, say some uh, some rich college kid is, you know, dipping out, they didn't give a shit about this that much anyway, they're just trying to unload it, you know, you can buy them used, I buy used textbooks, I like the hard copies, you can bean someone in the head with it too, but also when you're traveling, it's a pain to carry that around, okay, uh, which is why I go to this thing, now this is another, this is another, uh, a good good thing to use right here, okay? You buy one of these used tablets. I like to use Android because Apple's proprietary and it tend to be a pain in the ass and a rip off. 
I don't really like Steve Jobs either. No offense to anybody that uh, knew the, the poor schmuck. But uh, anyway, you get Android because it's universal. You can swap it out. You can throw a micro SD card in there and what the shit. And you uh, you can buy these online. I bought this for like 85 bucks. You know, it's, it, it, it's kind of a shit tablet. It's kind of slow, but it, it does the job for me. So you download a little app called, uh, first off, you got to download this app called Read Era. Okay? Download Read Era. And then, look, boy, I got a geology textbook. I'm reading about silicate minerals on there, okay? Read Era is a great book. It's like a, it's like a less obnoxious version of the Amazon Kindle, all right? Because, you know, like everything with Amazon, it comes with, you know, tons of fucking ads. It's a pain in the ass. They're trying to sell you shit. All of a sudden, you're getting emails. And you can't, you buy a Kindle, you buy like a Kindle Fire, you get fucking ads. You have to pay to get the ads. That fucking Jeff Bezos, man, he's really, uh, I think he's kind of devious, you know? Anyway... So, uh, and then, of course, you know, if you do, I, I recommend you actually purchase the, the uh, books, but they can be expensive, especially the textbooks, and they can be, in my opinion, way more than they need to be, especially if you're just buying a PDF version. So, another thing to do in that version, in that case, is go to, a, let's go to, a, let's say, Library Genesis, libgen.is, type in the name of what you're looking for right there. In this case, it's uh, Families of Flower and Plants, and you go... Okay, here's another one. Click on it. And you get a link. This this page pops up. Now, this is, you get all this shit. I'm not too computer savvy. But you get all this shit that pops up, all right? And what you're looking for is this one right here. This is what I always use. Boom. Click on it. And you go to Git. And then it just starts downloading. You'll just start downloading some shit. Often in PDF form, sometimes you get EPUB or a DJVU, whatever the shit that is. Doesn't matter. Read Eric can read all those. Okay, wonderful resource right here. That's if you're broke again, uh, you're better off. Uh, you know, at least with the hard copies, so you don't strain your fucking eyes. You know, go to that. Go to half price books if they still got any of those left. You know, look for the used textbooks. Get Plant Systematics. You can get that online on Amazon. You could buy a used. Uh, oftentimes, you know, twenty five, thirty bucks. Flower and plant families. I think this was like twenty five bucks. Best investment. This goes so deep. Okay, well, look, I got a little. Uh, there's some polymone in there. I think it's from Nevada. Look, I got all these fucking herbarium specimens I haven't dealt with. They just, uh, I just collect them and put them, push them to the side. I don't want anything to do with them, you know. But one day I'll accession them. If they're bad, I just want to. I don't want to deal with it yet. Anyway, this guy uh, goes deep. The Michael Simpson, okay, and he's got everything in there. You know, he's got little bits on morphology. He'll explain all that shit. You don't know what you're looking at when you look at a flower. He goes deep. He's got a chapter on everything. Oh, look at that a whole chapter on plant formology, morphology, huh? For you silly pricks, everything's, you know, uh, segregated by family and order. Great fucking book, but he doesn't go too deep with the families. That's why you need this one, because she goes deep with the families. she got lots of nice diagrams in there. You like pictures? Everybody likes pictures. So that's good. Then there's another book called uh, How the Earth Turned Green. I don't know where the fuck it went. I hate it over here for a minute. I just, I hate them in a box. What's some paying attention? That's a, this is a really good one. This explains all these funky-ass words you see in botanical nomenclature, you know? If you're going deep. Deep explanation. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a Pelea. I don't even know where I got that. But gee, it goes deep. You know, look. Look at it. It's got some nice full frontal shots of a milkweed flower. Explain what the fuck you're looking at. You know? A cuculus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sounds obscene. You know, it really gets... It's all adjectives and nouns and shit. It'll slap you around, get you... Oh, look at that. Look, you got a nice selaginella on there. Is that a selag or a moss? I don't know, whatever. Looks like a moss, okay? But this is a good book, Botanist Vocabulary. You can probably get that used, too. Everyone's trying to sell used books because print is dying out, unfortunately. This book is a real fucking jammer. This is basically, and this guy's got a sense of humor, too. I think he's out of U of I. He's out of University of Illinois, so he's a local boy. But, uh, the fuck is this? Oh, connect this. Let's connect the sufrutescent seat. That's good. I got to put that in my fucking seed box over there. Shit. Look, I cleaned off my desk for you. You like it? Huh? It was fucking cluttered and just filthy. I don't trust anybody who's got a clean desk. I don't. You gotta have tons of shit on it. Anyway, okay, so this guy, this is good. He starts at the basically the beginning of uh you know how life evolved, how green how green how green photosynthetic life evolved from the the, the algae and green algae and shit, you know? The charro fights, shout out, and then he, he moves along onto you know vascular plants. Starts with talking about the Cooksonia and shit. 
conifers, the age of conifers, everything that formed the coal during the Carboniferous period. Real interesting shit. And then he gets into angiosperms, and when he does, it's a real banger. You know, flowering plants, of course, evolving 125 million years ago. Probably a little bit before that, but those are the first fossils, 125 million years. I forget this guy's name. What is it? Joseph Armstrong. Buy this online. Don't be a prick. Get this online. I don't, I don't think you can get on a religion. That's good because, you know, he'll get some revenue from that and he, he needs it because he did a great fucking job. I mean, look at this. Look at it. Look. It's the sound of my, me hitting myself in the head with this. You know, every time I want to, you know, put my head through a wall, life's being a pain in the ass, my jobs kill me, whatever. You know, just to be myself in the head with this, and then I'll actually read a little bit afterwards, too. This is a good one. Plant identification terminology. Any, everybody who's, uh, uh, you know, been paying attention about plants at all knows this book. You know, this has got, uh, it gets a little redundant because the same adjectives and nouns, etc., descriptive terms get reused according to whether you're talking about flowers or stems or whatever but that actually ends up being very helpful it's basically just a big ass glossary i mean it's what it says in the title plant identification terminology this is like i think it's like 20 bucks you could probably get this for 12 bucks you know and then i just wanted to show you this because i picked this fucker up in uh, australia this is a great way better than picture books yeah, uh, you know, if you, if you got to use picture books, there's no shame in that, too. You know, if you're you're really just starting out, you don't know what the fuck you're looking at, get some of the picture books, even just the corny ones that identify families by color, you know, or identify flowers by color. So the, no evolutionary relationships portrayed here at all, just flower color, which is kind of simplistic. But, hey, if that gets you into it, you know, because you could can, you can see these, you could see these names and you could go to the, uh, look up the, the, the botanic name, you know. Obviously here, read a beta panada, look that up, etc. Um, so yeah, just, you know, even the shittiest flower guide. You can, they're always fun to thumb through too, you know? Especially if you're at work on company time, you just look through these. They're real nice, you know? But then you gotta actually, you can't just read this shit and pick it up by osmosis. You actually gotta go out and look at shit too. You know, which you should be doing anyway. You know, maybe you wanna, you get off work, you wanna fucking die. You're gonna come home, you're gonna, you know, drink a couple beers, do a bong rip or watch some stupid shit on TV, before you do that, before you go home, why don't you just divert yourself over to like a little uh, nature preserver, some shit, or a botanic garden or something, it's a great way to fucking calm down, you know, maybe be uh, less mass shootings if that was the case, I don't know, maybe going on a limb right there, anyway, so this book I want to show you, because this is a great way, it's all illustrations, but because it's all illustrations, the, the artist who did this, I, I don't even know her name, I forget her name, she's able to enunciate and emphasize the aspects of morphology that are uh, very important for identification, which you can't always do with pictures, you know, or it would take a sequence of pictures to do so. So here she could take the whole plant, put it on a flat background, and really show you, you know, I mean, everything to goddamn, you know, hairs on the stems. She's very descriptive. As long as the artist is, pays uh, exquisite attention to detail. Goddamn, I miss the proteas. Look at that fucking hakea. You know, as long as the artist pays good attention to detail, this is actually a great format for identification. Everything grouped by family, of course. So this was the Wildflowers of Southwest Australia. I bought this in one of the parks over there, but it was an immense help in terms of figuring out what the shit I was looking at. So anyway, I, I hope that, that helps you. That's it for the books. Okay, and lastly, you got to get this app, iNaturals. Now, it's a little buggy. It's a lot easier to use on a website. This is the actual app I downloaded. The app is a little buggy. If you use it on like a, a desktop computer or a laptop, it's pretty good. It's uh, it's exquisite, you might even say. But a good thing to do here, okay, you can log shit, whatever. You don't even need to log anything. Don't worry about logging nothing. Just go up to, uh, let's go to Explore, okay? This is the feature I want to show you, okay? This is the feature I want to show you, and this is what, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, not a lot of people know how to use it for. So you got two fields here. You go to Explore. You got the, the fucking organism you're looking at and then where it is. So you could put in, let's look up. What species of the sunflower family grow in Star County, Texas? So we'll type this in. It's got to recommend it, though. It can't just, you can't just, uh, there you go. See, you got to click on their recommendations. You can't just, uh, now where the fuck did it go? What a pain in the ass. What the heaven? You got to click on their recommendations, otherwise it doesn't go true. All right? And then you type in Asteraceae. Type in a family. Asteraceae, you gotta remember, you can't just type in type in Asteraceae up there, you gotta wait for it to suggest it. Maybe it'll fix this bug at some point. You, okay, so then you do that, and it brings up all the goddamn species in the sunflower family that have been observed in Star County, Texas. Now, obviously, if you're in a spot where nothing's been observed, 
uh, you know, really remote area, you kind of fucked. You have shit creek. But if you're in a in a in an area where a lot of shit has been observed, you know, you you get a list. So you get a list of thumbnails. And sometimes the goddamn sometimes the oh that's me. Sometimes the uh, sometimes the 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 pictures are kind of shit. But you just roll roll with it, whatever. You get if the pictures are shit, go to the species page. You get a list of species. You, you get a list of all the goddamn species of asteraceae that grow in Star County, Texas. Huh? How do you like that? Nahuatlia. That's uh, they changed Gagnaria to Nahuatlia. It's kind of nice. Uh, so anyway, that's that's a huge way to help you see what's growing around you. Because you could type in your location, your county, your city, whatever the fuck, and you type in sunflower family, pea family, and then you just look at what comes up. And then you know, not only that. Okay, so you get this is the really cool part. We, you know, it's linked to Wikipedia, so you get you get what comes up. You click on a, you, you get the species that come up. You click on a species page. You go to the species page. You got a list, a distribution map of where it grows, and then seasonality, phenology, when it's flowering, and what the shit. And then of course a list of taxons. You know, higher taxa that it's uh, a member of. You know, from species to tribe to subfamily to family to to order, etc. Pretty good shit. Pretty good shit, and I think, well, no, you can't click it. They need to make it so you can click on it, and it'll link to the Wikipedia page, but, uh, you know, I don't know. So I don't use it. I'll observe, I'll make observations, but mostly, you know, I'll try to get people using this. If they're asking what grows around me, they want to learn more. This is a great way to explore what grows around you. It's not as good as calflora.org, which is what we got in California, which is a fucking phenomenal resource, Okay. But uh, but it's close, and hopefully one day they'll improve it so it's better. Anyway, that's Inant, that's Libgen. Get yourself some fucking books. Buy them used if you're broke. Use Libgen if you're broker. Remember, try to get some money to the people that put these out just so you're not fucking them. And then, uh, of course, if you want to buy some stickers, you can hit me up. The five uh, stickers for six bucks. And if I don't got the PayPal link in the caption, that means I'm not doing it right now, okay? But for the shirts, go to, uh, it's on Bonfire. Uh, dot com and slash crime paste but i'll put the link in the goddamn captions anyway that's all i got for you have a lovely day and uh go fuck yourself bye